For me, the most important word in clock is community. A creative community that learns by doing. There were no educators involved in the process of building clock. It was built with employers and with contractors of creative and cultural organisations across 10 countries in Europe. People who would be clock sector experts who were talking about the best way of validating and recognising their skills. And through that process of listening, we were able to construct a framework that could recognize and validate those skills in a process that was non-formal and respectful and inclusive. Clock provides a level playing field, rectifies much of the exclusion that happens in formal education. Nobody knows what your potential is, who you are becoming. Surprise and delight yourself with what you can do. You know, I'm building myself as I'm meeting um, new peer mentors and working alongside them. So just looking at m and and what they're doing and looking at tech technology and finding out about blockchain. It's almost, I, I find it quite exciting, you know, coming on and doing boot camps because you just don't know what you're going to learn. And sometimes just listening to another um, peer reviewer and how they do something, you'll learn. It's probably because we all, by working, by doing, we understood the importance of sharing. And uh, and though, therefore we are kind of all like-minded people. We just, we're kind of a little family. We do things in this way, okay? Because we learn in that way. So in my time just working in, in the performing arts, and it, it enables me to recognize that actually I have accomplished quite a high level of skills, competencies, knowledge and experience in my field. Oh, this is advocacy. You're advocating for emerging artists. And I was like, what? <laughs> what, what, what is advocating? I never saw myself in that way at all. So where I, I might have you know, pulled back or, or what's your budget? I'm like, this is my thing. Recognising a sort of golden thread as well that kind of goes through maybe everything you've done and being able to benchmark it so know that what I'm doing in the UK is at the right level based on somebody um, at the same level as me in Italy or in Spain. I didn't have a good formal school experience and it stopped me wanting to learn. Rather than thinking, oh God, I've got to learn this new thing and it's going to hurt my brain, it's like, it's exciting to me that I'm going to learn something new. Doing clock, I was able to just join that up as a process of evolution and sharing it within a community.